Well, hello, good people, and welcome to a new Web Dev Hero tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you something about the fetch clause and the keyword named offset. So stay tuned for some cool SQL queries. We will start with our code right away. And why do we do this? Because this is how you learn and understand what the heck I'm talking about. First things first, this is a simple SQL query. We select the first name from our employee table and we tell it to fetch the first one rows only. Now the plural here might um, disturb you or it might confuse you even, but um, that's just the way you write it. So even though we say we just want our first row we can also ch change this here so fetch the first three rows then it's even grammatically correct and we get our result here we get the first three names why these three names you may ask i mean it's ellen sander and mose um it's because they are ordered by the employee id which we do not see okay this is the only reason for this uh, weird order. I mean, we can of course go and order them by first name and then we get the expected result here. That might suit you better and is easy on the eyes. Adam, Alana and Alberto. Moving on, let's comment this out like so and so we select the first three rows only now we can all also do this with a, a percentage for example so we can say select the first name from the employees and fetch the first 10 percent only and the first 10 percent in this case are 11 rows now, you might not believe me and say, but wait a minute, how do we know that 11 rows are actually 10% of the total here? And if this is what you're asking, then you're right. Don't believe me. Let's check this out. Let's go to our tables. Now we are in the employee tables. I hope so. Here we go. We got the employees in our human resources schema. schema. And the moment it loads, it tells me, well, this is the employee table. It contains 107 rows. Now you might ask again, Phil, what the heck are you talking about? 10% uh, of 107 is not 11. And I gotta tell you folks, yes, it is because it's rounded up. 10% of this are 10.7 gets rounded up to 11. This is why you get what you get. Okay. So the moment my browser is done here I can show you again that we have this output and we get the first 10% rows only which are 11 in this case again ordered by the employee ID which you cannot see so comment it out again moving on to our next modification of the statement uh, which is uh, the offset now what does the offset do well the offset basically just skips results. Now I finish the statement here for you to see what happens when we select the first name and we order it by the first name. We get of course a list of all our first names, Adam, Elena, Alberto and Alex. Keep these names in mind, Adam, Elena, Alberto and Alex. And when we say offset two rows and fetch the first two rows only, what do we get? Nothing. We get Alberto and Alexander, which were not the first ones. Because if you remember, the first ones in our list were actually Adam and Alana. Alberto and Alexander were the third and fourth so you see that this statement the offset two rows skipped the first two rows that's what it does all right 
again, if you have questions to that, if I'm too fast, uh, just put it in the comments and uh, ask me. I try to answer the comments uh, regularly and uh, try to help you out. I mean, this is why I do these tutorials for you folks to understand some Oracle SQL. Um, next, let's select the first name and the employees again from uh, and <laughs> from our employees table, order it by first name and offset to rows again. So skip the first two rows and uh, next fetch the 10% that follow. So how many rows should we get here? All of them, which is not correct, of course. Maybe I falsely commented something out. Ah, okay, perfect. I uh, did it again for you to see, so. <laughs> I underestimated myself here. We select the first name and order by uh, the first name. And again, you see Adam and Alana are the first ones followed by Alberto. And then what we do is we offset the first two rows again. And in the next case, we don't fetch the first two rows, but we fetch the next 10% like we did before. And we see again, we have 11 rows and Alana is not nowhere to be seen. So again, we get 10% of the rows and we skipped the first two rows. Let us say you want to see who earns the most money in your company. And for example, you have the first name, the salary, and you order your salary output. What you get here is Steven with 24 grand followed by two other people with 17 grand. Now, what happens is when you execute this statement and fetch the first two rows only, you get a missing keyword. What the heck did I just do? Ah. Yeah, keyword is only. You should not erase keywords, otherwise Oracle does not know what the heck you want to do. So we fetch the first two rows only, and uh, now what you will get is... <sighs> Sorry, folks. What you will get is you have just one person with 17 grand, and now Obviously, um, this is not an accurate output of your query. I mean, you want to see the second person with the same salary as well. And for this, we have a specialty called with ties. So you don't fetch the first two rows only, but you fetch the first two rows with ties. And now uh, tie is like in football, it's a tie means both teams scored the same value. So what it does is it shows you more than the selected rows if there are ties, like in this case. So we select two rows basically, but since there are ties between Nina and Lex, they will be shown to you anyway. So this kind of overrides your before statement of just fetching two rows. I hope this was clear, folks. I hope you learned something today. If so, I'm happy and I wish you all a good night. Take care and see you in the next tutorial.